Hello, everybody, and welcome in to Walter Cronkite Sports Network's continuing coverage of ASU softball alongside Julian Lopez. I'm Ranger Flores, and this week we're going to talk a little pitching. And, Julian, we're going to have a little debate this week. We're going to talk about who we want in that championship game of the Women's College World Series. Do we want to go with Dallas Escobedo, the proven leader, the winner? Or do we want to go with Mackenzie Popescu, the upstart? What do you got? What a tough decision for Coach, Coach Clint Myers. If it was a Game 7 type scenario, who would you want to put on the mound if you were an Arizona State fan? I would go with Mackenzie Popescu. You know what? Her confidence is up there. It's her first full season as a starter, and she's gone 16-0, and first in the Pac-12 in ERA, and she has that confidence factor. And I think her confidence is above Dallas Escobedo, where she would be fine with pitching in the Women's College World Series, even if it was her first start in the Women's College World Series, I think she would do a great job. Yeah, Julian, I can't argue with Mackenzie Popescu's stats at all. They're one of the best in the Pac-12 for sure. But the thing that Dallas Escobedo brings to the table that Mackenzie Popescu doesn't is the fact that she has pitched in the College World Series before, and she has won. She has pitched in that championship game, and she has won. And to me, that is why I want Escobedo on that hill in that Game 7 scenario. And her stats back it up. In the last two seasons, her ERA in 18 starts is under two. I mean, what more do you want, Julian? Come on now. Well, you know what? This is the first full season of Mackenzie Popescu being the number two starter pitching almost every other day, as last year they did have Haley Bach, who graduated. But Mackenzie Popescu has pitched like an ace. You know what? Against At the Cal State Fullerton Classic against Virginia Tech, she shut him out. Her first Pac-12 start at UCLA, a big game. She got a complete game. And I want to point out last Saturday against Stanford. In the first game, she pitched three innings, gave up three and run earn runs, one of her worst starts of the season. Coach Clint Myers pulled her. She came back the second game, pitched a complete game, gave up two and earned runs, just proved that she could be an ace. You know what, Julie, I want to bring up Dallas Escobedo again. In that first game, guess who it was that came in early? Popescu. It was Dallas Escobedo who cleaned out Mackenzie Popescu's mess. And that is, that is another reason why I like Dallas Escobedo. I mean, she is just so calm, cool, and collected in that circle, even though her stats – you know, may not be as good as Mackenzie Popescu's. They're still very good. I mean, her stats are very comparable to what they were last year. I think the biggest issue for fans of this team, they look back to that freshman season of Dallas Escobedo, and they say, wow, under two ERA, best pitcher in the nation. And that's those ex- that's where the expectations are for her. And they shouldn't be. They should be more around how she is right now. High strikeouts, you know, very composed in that circle. And I think that's why another reason why Escobedo is the ace of this team. And you talk about how Escobedo is a strikeout or home run type pitcher. But P- Papaskew is a ground out, fly out type pitcher. So we do have two contrast pitching styles. But Clint Myers, when we talk to Clint Myers and he talks about he's really not nervous with Dallas Escobedo giving up the big home run here and there. It will be big once it is in the Women's College World Series. And if you have a pitcher like Popescu who has only given up four home runs on the season, it's going to help the team a lot. You know, I think the biggest thing to keep in mind about Escobedo's home run troubles this year is that many of them have been of the solo variety. And I think a lot of times as a pitcher in either baseball or softball, if you keep it at a solo home run, the damage is limited. And that's, you know, the biggest thing for me is that if you limit that damage, you're going to be better off in the long run. And that's why, once again, Dallas Escobedo should be starting in that game seven. It also helps that ASU has the best offense in the nation. They absolutely do. I mean, their stats are amazing. We don't have time to bring it up right now, but it is one thing that they are definitely one of the best out in the country. And for Julian Lopez, I'm Richard Flores. For everything ASU softball, stick to CronkiteSports.com. We'll see you next week.